I'm Peter Herrick and I'm here with Kubota and the new compact telehandler that I'm sat in right now, folks. Great to see a new machine from Kubota. And there's quite a lot of space in the cab here, but I just wanted to have a little go, folks. First of all, great, simple setup for the steering wheel and also for the taller people, folks, you can actually pull it up and therefore we're ready to go. However, lots more features to talk about in this machine so i'm gonna to have to find the expert gordon who is going to tell us all about it gordon great to see you again. great to see you again peter thanks very much for making time for me today we have obviously got a new machine here we have and you know a lots and lots of different features we've seen inside the cab we're going to get you to talk about that towards yeah. the end of the video as yeah. well but the business end as i like to call it okay what have we got here what is this capability okay let's just say so here we've got is the kubota kth 4815-2 okay so right. kth kubota telehandler yeah 48 because we've got a 4.8 meter lift height right okay and the 15 is represented a one and a half ton lifting capacity just to confuse them out a little bit, we've got a lightweight version and a heavyweight version, as I'm referring to it. Yep. So our lightweight version as it is as a lower transport weight. So we've got 1.2, just shy of 1.2 lifting capacity on the forks. Right. And of course, and uh, with the additional counterweight, we're just getting shy of one and a half tons on the forks, okay? So two good options there. Two for options, people. yeah. So we've got a transport focus uh, yep. weight option and a more cost focus. But of course, with the additional counterweight, what we've got here is a compact machine with big performance. It's really interesting. We've seen my colleague Nick Drew operate yeah. this for us as well. And it is the fact that, you know, it is a small machine. It is. And yet, you know, we've got stuff that we've been playing with here today. The, the capabilities um, are unstoppable. So it, you yeah. just need some imagination to let this thing grow. So I'm really excited that we entered this world of material handling when we went to um, Lamarill in the year. The interest yeah. was immense. We just mentioned, okay, all our hitches will yep. be a hydraulic. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. and that will quick up our performance and, and, the, and the productivity of the machine. Okay, we'll have uh, single and twin auxiliary options. Right. But as we walk around, this is it, because I don't know if you know much about me, I'm, I'm ex-service. Okay? Oh, okay, right. Yeah, so when I look at machines, I always look at, can you change a fuel filter? It was simple things like that. <laughs> yeah. Can the technician check their own engine oil? Yeah. That is so crucial, because one of the things is with compact machinery, it's always quite often a lot of compromises. Right. Because you have to squash everything in, don't yeah, you? Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, okay, so here the... we have we've got a compact telehandler. Yep. And open the bonnet for me, please. Right, let's have a look inside. Now that is a technician's dream. Yep. Okay. So if I just start for one end, okay, we've got our hydraulic tank at the end there with a dipstick, checking the level. Yep. Plenty of space to clean our coolant pack, brake fluid level, coolant level, radiator cap, engine pre cleaner, got battery isolator key. Yep. And look at this, jump posts. Okay, I always used to say, right, why have we got jump posts? It's either for two reasons, it's over-engineered or the battery's not accessible. But in this case, <laughs> I'm going to say it's over-engineered because the battery's just down here. Yeah. We have an access panel here. Right, so you can just pull it out. And you can pull it out. And then, of course, we've got our access to the engine uh, dipstick. Yeah. Oil filter. We can replenish the oil by the operator. Our fuel system's very neatly um, located here. Yeah. And, of course... If you put your hand underneath, you can actually get your filter oh, yeah. sockets and take it out. Straight away, yeah. yeah. It is really simple to uh, service. And, you know, even like your alternate belt tension, everything. Okay. And also, you see our, our DPF filter there? Yeah, yeah. 6,000 6, hours service interval. 6,000? Yeah. And right. what? But what I'm more interested in, quite often the exhaust DPF is hidden in, yeah. in the engine bay. But look how it's exposed, yeah? Right. So you can When you have to send that way for its um, 6,000 hour service um, cleaning. How easy is it to get off? Just a few bolts and off you go, isn't so it? So look yeah. at it. What a large engine bay. And the other thing, which is really important yeah. when you're talking about large engine bays, is the fact that normally that would impair the visibility of a machine yes. like this. But we can see here really good visibility yeah. for the operator, which is absolutely crucial. It is. So if you've sat in this and you've had to walk around, what I like about our cabin space, it's like a TARDIS, yeah? <laughs> we can actually sit in the seat. I mean, instead of sort of having your shoulders squashed like this and you're using your neck to move around, we can actually move our body, yeah? yeah. We can do this. And you know, it might sound silly me doing it, moving around, but it's... It's really it's, important. It's really good. And, and therefore, you know, keeps us safer on site. Right, so let's talk about... The back end, the counterweight. Okay, end, yes. So well I, there, is, you yeah, know. I talked about the lightweight and the heavyweight. Yeah. So what we've got to make it into a heavyweight to get the increased lifting capacity on the front, yeah. we have this heavy, um, oh, 170 kilogram block here right. with the integrated toe pin. And as you can see on the side here, it's just bolted on here. So the lightweight version still has the toe pin, but we just have a plate with the integrated toe pin on it. Right. But so this take away the block. additional 170 kilogram 
block. So basically, we've got more counterweight on the back end, yep. so we can kind of balance the machine. Right. And that's what we've got. So what it does, it increases the um, transport weight of the machine by an additional 170 kilograms. You've got a windscreen wiper on the yeah. rear. What I like about it is that it parks yeah, in right. the vertical position. Yeah, yeah. And you've got to think about your hatchback car, yeah? Why yeah, yeah. do wiper blades always park in the horizontal position? It's silly, because all the dirt sits on the top. Right. You do your wipe, don't you? And then on yeah. the return wipe, you skew, um, skew the dirt. You, you scratch and blow up the, the And then the this just paint. flips down. This compact machine, you yeah, might yeah. think, to, like the brief is to be under two meters in height, yeah? Right, yeah. So this machine with the wide tires, yeah, with 1,920 millimeters in height, yeah. Okay, the beacon will take it over, but we can collapse our beacon hey, as well. Hey, right. So you've got to think about this. This is a machine designed for the compact areas, so the height is important. Yeah. yeah? yeah so yeah. I, I, I envision this working in Mike Story car parks, underground car parks. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get underneath that height barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's got, yeah, yeah I see. Right. Yeah. Okay. So coming around here, folks. Little touches. Yeah. You know, since the introduction of, you know, so now everybody's using white diesel in the construction game. Yep. Very important to have a lockable fuel cap. Yes, indeed. And yeah. also, you know, the position of it there is very simple to, yes. to access and fill up. You know, yeah, just like filling up a car. And uh, we've got the screen wash cap inside there as yeah. well, folks. So, Gordon, I've been inside. Get inside oh, okay. yourself. Come okay. on, uh, because there's some other features that we need to talk about. Jump in. Right. Again. Very easy. We step in. Yeah. As you say, this machine offers a big machine feel. Okay, so we've got a very large cabin space, plenty of space in front, plenty of space behind. As you see, I've got my hard hat on. Yeah. I'm a six foot tall man. Right. Easily fit in. Yeah. We've got high back seats, very comfortable. But what I really like about this interior, it's like it's from the automotive industry, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You notice that we've got this uh, plan of stitching, yeah. And stitching and stuff yeah. like that there. It's and it's a really quiet place to be. So you've got the joystick control there as well. Everything you need is in front of you. Yeah. And that's what I like. So you're not, uh, say for the rear wiper, you're not turning around to trying to switch it on. Yeah, yeah. We've got a very neat, tidy um, touch button display here. We're going to switch all our wipers on. Our part brakes here. Okay. Yeah. And we've got a nice adjustable armrest here. Multi-function control lever. So if I get myself in an operating position and I put my high visibility seatbelt on just to let the part posture. Okay. And on the steering wheel and the control lever. Plenty of foot space for my feet. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Ready to go. That shot there, does that not say at all? <laughs> okay. But let's let's just uh, continue with this. But also, we've got knowledge with this um, cabin. We've got very slim pillars. Yep. You know, and, the, and what's great is having a slim pillar, it helps with all the visibility. And we look at our, L our LMI indicator, very slimly mounted on the pillar. And it's um, right in your eye view, though. Yeah, everything there, you because... need. Everything you need is forward facing. And of course, look, just in my visibility test, I can actually turn my shoulders. I can look around. I'm, yeah. I'm comfortable. And I think it's really important, you know, telehandlers, the biggest issues of telehandlers is making sure that you're safe when you're lifting yep. those loads yep. and everything like that and when you're moving around as well. So to have that that display yeah. right in front of your eyes as you're looking at uh, yes. up at the, the lifting yeah. opportunity is really, really important. Seat options in there? Cool. A mechanical um, suspension seat in this yeah. machine, but what I've referred to as our Deluxe model will have an air suspension seat. Air suspension so seat. Even more refinement for the, you know. For the individual. For, for, for the individual. So, also, lots of different lighting um, that we've got here to illuminate ourselves in all the different applications. Gordon, it's another new machine from Kubota. You're yes. certainly excited about it. We are. Lots of other people are excited <laughs> about it, folks. And it's great to see you again. Cheers. Thank you so much, Peter.